It's going to be a video review for Brooklyn Bugs. Uh, Jonathan and Bella make acrylic cages. I found them online when I was looking for an acrylic cage for an upcoming project I'm doing with an M. Balfouri uh, communal. And I couldn't find anything that really fit my needs. There's one issue I have with the acrylic cages sometimes is they're pretty, but for the money it's tough finding something that really works with what you need. So I, after looking at a couple places, going on eBay, looking at Lorax, considering uh, Jamie's tarantulas, um, she makes nice enclosures, but I didn't think I could put enough substrate in it because of where the holes are. Um, I found a post for them on arachnoboards. They had some absolutely beautiful enclosures, including cylindrical ones, uh, one that looked like a lunchbox that was turned into an enclosure. So uh, one of the ones I was eyeing was right about the right size and dimensions of what I needed, so I figured I'd give them a shot. Well, I spoke to Jonathan. Um, he got right back to me. The communication has been excellent. Phone calls, text messages, they've been right on point with this. And after discussing it a little bit, he convinced me that he could make something that wouldn't be much more than what I wanted to originally get and it would more uh, better fit my needs. So I went did a sketch of what exactly what I would ideally want. Jonathan got back to me within a couple hours. We went over it and we came up with a plan for it. Now, I was really worried that a custom enclosure was going to cost me an arm and a leg because I had contacted somebody else before about custom enclosures and it was quite a bit compared to their already prefab ones. And the price was right about where I originally, what I originally uh, planned on spending. And then I was worried that it was going to take a while. And when all was said and done, we figured out, I believe, Friday afternoon exactly what we're going to do. He bought the materials and he built it on Saturday. It was done by Sunday. So the turnaround time was amazing. Now, I have really high hopes for this because he did send me pictures. And I will be doing a blog that will detail some of this even more. But he did send me pictures as he was making it. And the pictures were just amazing. So really excited to get this one open. I'm going to go ahead and open it now while Ron's holding the camera. Hopefully this will go quickly. I know I get told I talk too much sometimes, but I want to get the backstory out. And Rome wants to sniff. The one thing I really appreciated was he listened to what I wanted and then used his own expertise to come up with some things that might improve it. Because again, I came up with some ideas, but I haven't worked with acrylic before. I didn't know the sizes, the materials come in. So he really, oh man, this is really well packed. We got foam on the top to keep it from getting her up. And then the whole thing is bubble wrapped to high heavens, which is fantastic. Get the box out of the way. It's the worm. enclosure that will house my Balfouris. One of the things he asked about before he did it is he likes to use tape to go around the edges to kind of make it stand out more. Kind of looks like one of the fancy aquariums and I really like the look of that. The tape that's holding the lock shut here so we can open it up. Oh gorgeous. And one of the cool things comes with, I've got some isopods, which is fantastic because if anybody's watched some of my postings, I've had to do some rehousings lately because of mold and such. And so he included 100 plus uh, white isopods, which I'm really excited about and honestly really neat because I had several moist enclosures now that could use these. But here is the enclosure. One of the things I was worried is I will be putting small slings in here and I was worried about there um, being a escape route through the roof, but you can start through the cover. But as you can see, there is a lip around the entire thing. It closes up nice and flush. As my dogs make noise in the background. Nobody's getting out of that one. The, as I move my dogs away from each other. Hinges work great, latch is great. Love the little thing on the top here to pick it up. Just a gorgeous little enclosure. Just flip around, you can see. We got the black vent so it matches the black. I just really like the look of this. So again, absolutely gorgeous job on this. Um, I will be placing another order. I had an idea for arboreal enclosures that I really want to try out. And so I will be ordering from him again. Hopefully, my dog's got a cone and she's over there trying to scratch her head. 
Um, I will be ordering uh, an enclosure with the arboreal design I have, but overall just a fantastic experience. The turnaround was great. The enclosure looks fantastic. This is going to look great with a bunch of little Balfouri slings in it all set up. I'll do a video with the setup later on, but absolutely great experience with these guys. Jonathan Bella, fantastic job. Um, again, I'll be doing the blog post later on with some more details, but an A-plus experience for these. I definitely um, would encourage people to try checking these guys out. Figure I'd go ahead and shoot one with it uh, all set up. Um, this one is an incredibly sturdy cage. It's one thing that uh, I don't know if I mentioned in the first video, but very, very well put together. Thick materials. You can tell it's handmade. It's got just enough little imperfections, nothing you know horrible by any stretch of the imagination to recognize that this was handmade. And the fact that he made it in 24 hours kind of blows my mind. He did ask me if I wanted it with the tape or without. He said if I didn't like the tape on it, he could peel it off. He likes the way it looks. I agree. I like the way it looks. Uh, it really frames everything out. Really just kind of makes it almost look like a uh, glass aquarium with the black all around it. It just really makes everything pop. And you can see I got it all set up with the cork bark. Um, I'll open it up here. You can see everything hooked up there. Cork bark, water dish. Plants, beautiful, beautiful enclosure. I did go ahead, I am putting slings in this, and I will get more into that when I talk about the project I'm using this for. So I did, although I didn't tell him to do that, I didn't ask him to do this, I could have asked for wire vents. After I got them in, I looked at them and I was a little concerned with the size of the holes in the vents. So I went ahead and added screening to it just to double check. But again, there was nothing I even asked them for. It was just something I was looking at afterwards. And I don't like to take the chance. I know slings can squeeze out of really teeny tiny holes. So I wanted to make sure I was covered there. But here we go. It's all set up. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Again, I'm going to, I've already sent him a design for arboreals that I'd like him to make. So I'm going to get one of those. So hopefully I'll be doing a review of that soon. But again, the price was great. The turnaround was great. The fact that he's making these by hand, these aren't done in machine shops. Uh, it just blows my mind. It's beautifully, you know, beautifully well done. And I've seen other things that people have done by hand. And this is just fantastic. So uh, all in all, just so pleased with this purchase. This cage is going to be absolutely uh, probably the centerpiece of my collection now. It just looks so good sitting on a shelf. And again, I would encourage anybody looking for a custom enclosure. I've had a lot of people ask me lately um, where I can get where they can get some. I would give these guys a, sh a shout and see what they can do for you because um, he likes to get creative. He listened to my instructions perfectly, created exactly what I wanted, and very, very pleased with it.